Hey there, this is Greg Bukovats with Ninja Bomb Marketing here in Springfield, Missouri. And this morning I have with me uh, on this Zoom meeting, Lynette Blecka of Lynette Blecka Photography. How are you today? I'm good, thanks for having me. Good, great, thank you so much for jumping on with, this, uh, with, with me today on this. Um, Lynette, you own a photography business. Can you tell us a little bit about your business and how you got started? Yeah, I'd love to. Um... I got started um, throughout my life. Um, I've always been interested in photography. Um, obviously, when I had children, I wanted to document the moments in their life and the little, um, little things that happened on a day-to-day -day basis. So I picked up my camera um, and made sure that I was able to capture the little things that happened in their life and, and for sure wanted to print those pictures to um, create an album, memories for them to look back on um, when they're older as adults or um, to show their grandchildren. So um, I've always been interested in documenting, you know, our family history and our legacy and, and special moments in our lives. And so um, as the kids got older, I decided um, to open up shop, start a business. And in 2012, um, I got my business license and started um, offering family and um, high school senior sessions um, in Springfield, Missouri, um, and I really love it. I'm, you know, I try to be a full service photographer and offer them as much as I can to make the process as simple as possible for my families. That's great. So you you kind of touched a little bit on um, the type of photography you do. Can you give us a little bit more details about what kind of photography services that you offer? Absolutely. Um, I am a full service portrait photographer, um, so I mainly serve families and high school seniors um, in the Springfield area um, and around um, on location, outdoor sessions, um, and full service. I like to, from start to finish, help my families create um, an heirloom, um, create their family legacy, um, print their portraits. Um, so I offer in-home gallery wall design sessions and consultations so that I can help them measure their walls and decide what kind of artwork would look great on their walls and what sizes they need, what colors would look best in their outfits for the session to match the decor in their home. Um, and so then we use that information and um, continue on to their session. Um, outdoors, typically either um, they have a favorite spot that they'd like to shoot at or um, downtown or kind of on a trail um, the greenways the ozark trails are a great place to shoot at right. um, or even in their home <clears throat> my seniors we choose um we like to highlight their hobbies so like we go to their school or if they're an athlete we go to their field or um, musician um, we like to use the things that, to bring out the personalities for the families or the seniors that we're um, photographing um, after the session, then we do um, a viewing session to where they get to see all of their images that, that we took and pick out their favorites. We um, show them a slideshow, and um, sometimes it gets pretty emotional here with the moms of the seniors um, looking at their <laughs> little kids that have grown up, so that's a lot of fun. Um, but then we use all of the information that we used at the consultation to decide what kind of wall art that they'd like to put in their home, um, if the seniors want to um, put all of their image, images together in an album. That's a great way to hold on to their memories so they're all together and in 20 years they can go back and just look at their senior album. Um, so and then that's when we place their order and then um, the final product comes in and I deliver it to their home and um, it's like Christmas. They get to open up their packages and they're thrilled to death to see what we came up with. That's awesome. It's funny you mentioned you know 20 years later because uh, it's a little over 20 years, about 25 now, but my wife and I just went back through all of our senior pictures uh, recently. It's fun to do that with our kids uh, during the, the quarantine times. We've Absolutely. Got a whole lot and of other entertainment options. So That's uh, the way to tell your story yeah. and they, they find out who you are and it's, that's fabulous. That's what it's there for. Very cool. Well, I know just from our own photography sessions and, and seeing fr you know other friends that have um, had you know multiple different um, kinds of photography sessions. People like to use props in photography. 
Yeah. What are some of your favorites that stand out? Oh, goodness. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun to get creative with your sessions. So, um, you know, I've had families that have um, wanted pictures with their kids, but also their dogs, their pets. Um, <laughs> I, even, I even had a family that wanted to bring their mouse. So <laughs> that's a funny one. Um, but um, dogs are, are common. Um, cats have kind of wandered into our pictures um, when we're, you know, in a family's yard or something. And so uh -huh. that's been fun. Um, seniors get really creative. You know, we have guys that want to be photographed with their cars, you know, and so I get them inside the car, you know, with their arms on the, on the window, looking sure. chill and cool in there. And so that's a good thing for um, senior guys. You know, it's a little bit more masculine than what we do with the girls. The girls like to, um, you know, photograph in sunflowers or, um, you know, reading books. If somebody's a Harry Potter fan, that's been a, a big um, suggestion for them. So it, it gets to be fun, you know, using musical instruments or, um, you know, cap and gown sessions we do a lot of. So you can really get creative and bring out somebody's personality in either your family session or your senior session. And that's what makes it special. That's great. Well, this is uh, maybe a little bit of a pivot question. Um, you're not just a local business owner, you're a local. You, I mean, you guys shop local, you eat local. So who or what are some of your favorite local businesses or charities in town that you like to do business with or support? Yeah, um, you know, my family and I, prior to all of this, liked to get out a lot. And so, um, and we're looking forward to getting out soon because it looks like things are opening up. But, um, you know, we love to, to stroll the farmer's market, um, you know, on Republic, the farmer's um, yeah, farmer market, market of, of the Ozarks. The Ozarks correct. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and see all the, um, the local farmers and artisans that are out there. Um, and so that's a fun time. We also like to walk around downtown Springfield and look at the local shops that are down there. Um, I shoot sessions for seniors um, pretty often at downtown Springfield, so that's a great place um, to hang out. Um, but I also like to give back. Um, I've done a lot of work with the Dream Center um, here in Springfield, which is um, you know from North Point Church, and they give back to the community and help um, the families in their area with um, you know, childcare and education and, and food pantries and such. So um, I've donated sessions um, and offered, you know, my services to the Dream Center. Also Ozark's Teen Challenge um, is a big huh? charity that I've liked to help and the Harmony House. So, you know, I, I like to give back to the community. Um, you know, we do veteran sessions every year and I give free sessions to a veteran's family every November is something else that I like to do. Oh, that's awesome. So, so not just, um, you know, being a business owner, but I like to give back and give back to my community too and, and, and do something good for the people that need it here. That's fantastic. And um, how has, I know, I know it's affected everybody, but how has COVID-19 affected business for you? Well, um, in the beginning, I was a non-essential um, business, so I had to close up shop. Um, I wasn't able to do sessions, um, but I was able to pre-book, you know, and kind of guess when I might be able to do sessions again. So um, I did have families and, and, and clients that purchased gift cards and gift certificates while we were um, not shooting so that they could you know, schedule later on in the year. And so that's been encouraging. So I do have um, some folks on the books um, in the future. Now that um, I am able to go out and photograph, I'm offering um, front porch portraits right now to still try and keep our distance um, and give that security to our clients um, and, you know, come to their homes and take their, their portraits in front of their house. Um, at a safe distance and, you know, do all of our communicating online um, and looking at the images and downloading the images that way sure. online so that, you know, when everybody gets more comfortable, then we'll get back to the, to the hands-on fun um, sessions that I really like to do. So it sounds like you were able to kind of find some ways to pivot um, during the downtime. Do you think that this is going to change your business moving forward? Like, I wonder if it's going to become like a thing for the next couple of years, almost as a joke for people to bring a mask to their session just so they can get 
like a photo with them wearing a mask, you know, or like, do you see stuff like that happening or have you already had people ask or, or are there any other ways that you see this changing your business moving forward? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, I mean, for sure right now people are wanting to document this time and, mm -hmm. and to, to have something that represents, you know, the struggles or, you know, the hardships that they went through during these last couple months and they're telling how long it's going to go forward. So yeah. Um, you know, going forward, I would probably assume that I'm going to be wearing a mask and sanitizing my equipment and studio, um, you know, between clients and, you know, offering masks to my clients in between um, session times and stuff when we're ordering their products. Um, it's just a matter of being smart and safe and yep. keeping things clean. And um, photography in its essence is, is not done up close regardless. So I'm always, you know, when I'm shooting and photographing people, I'm not right there in their face anyways. I'm more than six feet away. So um, right. the sessions itself are pretty, pretty safe. Um, it's the, the personal things that I'm gonna miss and have to, um, you know, tone down a bit. But I, I still offer those full service um, options to all of my clients. Right. Well, Lynette, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to jump on uh, with me this morning and Absolutely. being willing to, to kind of get out there in front of the Support Springfield group and uh, really wish you the best in your business. And again, appreciate it. You have Thanks a great day. Thanks for having me. You too. Thanks.